Hi, this is Zach May with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Zach's Traders Cafe for Friday the 21st of July. Starting off with the FTSE 100 where we've had uh, the market push through the rising or a rising 200 day moving average. The uh, 50 day line crossed down below a rising 200 day line which can actually be a buy signal. It's actually a pretty good one, almost better than a golden cross in fact. Because it also means that the next time they cross it, there should be a golden cross. So it's uh, Almost like a double signal in its own right. They're not very well known either, but uh, there we are. We've got uh, now the next resistance around 77.80. Uh, and uh, we're on track for that while we're above the uh, 50 and 200 day moving averages around 75.60. RSI at 63, so uh, not oversold yet, even after the uh, rebound from the uh, 72.30 area earlier in the month. At this stage, uh, only back below the 200 day line would then threaten the... Uh, a return to the 74, 50, 60 area after that. But uh, looking for a big breakout here through 77, 80, that could take us up to uh, towards 8,200, maybe by the end of next month if everything goes well, which obviously is still quite a big ask. Moving on to the DAX, and uh, here it was all about trying to break uh, last month's and uh, May's resistance, 16,300, 16,400. We're still above the 50-day line around 16,000. Below that, there's the risk of 15,600 at the floor of that rising August trend channel from last year. Otherwise, if we break through the 16,400 zone, then we could be up to the top of the channel as high as 17,200 by the end of next month. The RSI is still in the low 50s, which is a good place for continuation on the upside. Moving on to the Dow. And uh, here you can see that... Uh, we are sitting comfortably at the best levels of the past year, which is uh, quite an achievement. Uh, here above the uh, 35,000 level, looking for as high as 37,200 by the end of next month. Worst on the downside, currently seen as being around 34,500, which was the broken resistance of June and early July. RSI now in the overbought camp, 71, but uh, obviously that state of affairs can continue for quite some time if there is a decent trend. Moving on to uh, Bitcoin, where we've been waiting for weeks for this market to break up and uh, break to the upside. In fact, at the moment, it looks like it's trying to break to the downside. 29,500, the uh, support on the recent flag, which has been in place for the month last month. Below that, looking for the uh, 50-day moving average, currently at 28,800. Still looking for an end-of-day close through 31,000 to give us as much as 36,000 by the end of next month. RSI has now fallen below neutral 50, so I suppose we have to uh, console ourselves that uh, uh, we will actually see the 50-day moving average tested, although that could be a rug pull ahead of a fresh move to the upside, which is what we're looking at, given the way that 50 and 200-day moving averages are both rising. On to the stocks, and uh, welcome return for Ascent Resources. I suppose we're, uh, some people might be waiting to see whether this is the big move on big news, but uh, we've broken... A line of resistance there from March, around 3.5 pence above that, looking for up to four and a quarter over the next couple of weeks. It'll also be interesting to see whether we can close above the 200-day line, around three and three-quarter pence, as we haven't been above that since back in December. But an uptrend line in the RSI window, so that does suggest there's a turnaround here and also an unfilled gap to the upside through the 50-day moving average, which tends to be one of the best signals in terms of a turnaround in a stock or a market. On to uh, Andrada, where they uh, got away their uh, funding news earlier this week, bounced off the 50-day line and also the floor of that rising trend channel from back in February, top of the channel heading for 10 pence, and we're looking for that by the end of next month, while we hold above the 50-day line, around 6.8 pence. Moving on to a stock, which uh, seems to be uh, doing well at the moment, uh, if I can uh, type in the right... Uh, uh, epic code. Uh, here we've got cake box and a uh, beautiful uh, gap to the upside that we had yesterday and uh, breaking the top of our uh, rising trend channel from back in September. So we've achieved our target there around 165. But 165 looking for a new leg to the upside up to £2.10 maybe as soon as the end of next month. But uh, the rally started with an uphill gap to the upside and uh, we've got a second one there. I think there was actually one, one there back in June as well. Uh, but maybe, maybe not. Uh, but certainly the gap higher today through resistance. Very strong signal for cake box. I know you're back below the uh, initial July resistance there at one pound fifty-seven. Really delay one pound fifty-eight. Really delaying 
the upside scenario. Moving on to a stock which is um, back at the bottom of its range at the moment, uh, Caracal Gold, rising trend channel there from February, floor of the channel there around 0.3. Above uh, above 0.3, we're looking for the shares to uh, zigzag back to the top of the channel and maybe get up to 0.6 over the next month or two. If you're cautious, maybe you wait for end of day close back above the 50-day line at 0.37, but it does look as though we've got a rising trend channel base and the shares have responded in kind. On to um, another stock, which is uh, it hasn't been appeared, for, it hasn't appeared here for quite a while. European metals, but we've gapped higher today. Initial target here, 50 pence at a December resistance line. And the next target after that, up to 60 pence by the end of next month. While we hold above the 50-day line currently at 40 pence. Moving along to a stock which had news today. A big contract win from memory. I think it was 3 million. And uh, Filtronic uh, delivering the goods in terms of making progress within that rising three-year trend channel. Top of the channel there at 18 pence. If we break 18 pence, then we could be up to 28 pence over the next one to two months. All the while, want to see 15 pence hold. Uh, more ex uh, obscure, even more obscure stock now, GS Chain, which uh, has hit um, both of the targets we were looking for, around uh, 4.8 and then uh, around 5.6. Above 5.5 pence here, really looking for a fresh leg to the upside and the top of that wide trend channel from uh, the early part of last year heading for 10 pence and maybe we could see that by the end of next month only back below five really uh, delaying the upside there on to uh, gfinity which is a requested stock and uh, good day to ask for a request here i suppose uh, if you look at the chart uh, we were sus suspecting that there'd be a turnaround from the beginning of the month when we broke out of that uh, wedge there at 0 0.06 uh, now we're looking for a weekly close above the 50-day line at 0 0.09. Uh, target now up to at 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.11 initially, and then hopefully by the end of next month as high as 0.16 at uh, a resistance line there from May. But the key here, I think, is holding above that initial July resistance just around, uh, or just under the 0 0.08 pence level. Moving along to... Uh, i3 energy which uh, is interesting at the moment because uh, we've got one of our favorite uh, charting setups the unfilled gap to the upside um, and it's actually a bear trap gap reversal because it was a slight uh, bear trap below the june support so while that is in place we're looking for the shares to head up towards the top of that falling trend channel from uh, back in the spring around 17 pence hopefully by the end of next month bullish divergence as well so all the signals all the key signals there on uh, i3 at the moment Onto a stock which I've never looked at and uh, has an interesting name, Lung Life. Uh, we've uh, unfilled gap to the upside off the low, a bullish divergence there, and uh, breaking that falling wedge at 20, well, 25 pence. And now above the 50-day moving average of 36 pence, we're looking for as high as a pound over the next two to three months. So let's see if uh, that rather punchy call on Lung Life actually comes up. Uh, Trump's. On to another stock which I haven't had, had a look at for quite a while, uh, Nostrum. Here it looks as though the shares are uh, finally going to deliver a little bit of a bounce. Uh, we've had good support at the 50-day uh, line, which is now rising around 9 pence. And above that, we're looking for as high as uh, 18 pence, maybe over the next couple of months. And that's the, basically the top of a broadening triangle from back in March. If I just complete the uh, bottom of the triangle there. Moving along to uh, stop one of the stocks of the week, apart from maybe clean tech, lithium optibiotics. And uh, here, drew that line there uh, from back in December. And I think uh, if you look closely, we sort of almost exactly hit it. I oh, know we just missed it, actually. Uh, looking for 19 or 20 pence there, the high today, 19.15. Uh, upside still in place while we hold above the 15 pence level, which was basically the initial uh, resistance of uh, 2023. If you're a fan of the shares and looking for the next uh, level up after uh, 19, it would be the line I'm just drawing now, which is up towards the uh, 33, well, 34 pence area, actually, hopefully over the next couple of months. But the key here is holding above 15 pence uh, to prove that this is not just a flash in the pan in terms of the share price. Onto a stock which has probably appeared here more than most, uh, Predator. Here we've got the shares. Just coming up to that 18 pence uh, target that we had after the, the initial, well, it's actually 12, 15, and 18. Above 18, we're looking for up to uh, 27 or 28, which is the top of that rising 
March trend channel and hopefully we could get that as soon as the end of next month while we hold above 15 pence. So a nice clear out earlier in the month so that uh, should drive the shares forward. On to uh, Premier African where uh, we find out uh, that somebody's got probably more money than we expected, uh, 1.7 million pounds more and uh, here interesting that we had a higher low for the shares on Thursday ahead of today's uh, uh, director loan news. Uh, probably the way of playing this now is to wait to see whether we can break a line of resistance there from last month. So that really ties in with the uh, probably 0.52 on an end of day close basis would give the shares a new push to the upside back into the 60s. Otherwise, probably we have to retest the support in the low 30s. The other thing to note is whether the RSI gets above neutral 50. It's currently at 42. So we'd like to see that broken, uh, the, the neutral level broken before assuming a push to the upside. One of the more difficult situations, rather frustrating ones over in, in terms of charting and other matters has been um, prospects, but uh, did notice that the shares bounced uh, during this week off uh, an uptrend line there from uh, basically a uh, two-year uptrend line there. And uh, that's running through almost exactly the lows of this week. So to call that uh, 5.7 pence above that, we're looking for up to uh, a resistance line there from April at 8.8 .8 pence. But the key here is that is that, that uh, two-year uptrend line holds. Was, uh, after that, it could be a little bit more sticky for prospects. Finishing off with a stock which I covered earlier in the week, Shield Therapeutics. Uh, here we have the break of the, uh, the falling wedge or the triangle there from back in February. And if you look closely, yesterday there was an uphill gap to the upside today. We followed through very well, and uh, that's one of our favourite setups. Target was up to uh, 10 pence, and hopefully we'll hit that over the next day or two. End of day close, or a break of 10 pence, could then give us a new leg to the upside, as high as 14 pence by the end of next month. But we'd like to see the shares remain above the 8 and a quarter pence area, which is basically post-April resistance. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.